I am Nasreen. I am a cleaner. When I was little, my father drove all over the country for work. I would put my hand out of the car window, and it would be a flying carpet, racing across the desert. I would fly across fields of grain, through thick, dark forests, up mountain passes, and burst through above soft clouds. I was on the most amazing adventure. My father would laugh. Dreamer, he said. Dreamer. But now, I am an adult, and I have to face reality. I am on a moon base, a mining outpost overrun by zombies. And all the lunar marines are dead or infected. And they're coming. They're coming. They're here. I think my dreams can be bigger. Nazreen dreaming again, were we? You done yet, dreamer? She's right. I am a dreamer. I am. Every immigrant is. We have to be. She has her dreams. He has his. But my dreams... My dreams are complex. I want to be an actor. A screen actor. I want to inhabit lives. To dream these lives into existence. I need to do this. It is my dream. And I know it is a silly dream. But it is mine. And I can't help having it. But I'm just a cleaner. And with no financial security, being an actor can feel a vain, even absurd dream. If you write, you can pick up a pen and write. If it's music, you can compose. Photography, painting, sculpture. It does not take much to at least practice your art. But to act for screen, you need other artists. You need writers, and a crew, and equipment, and time on your hands. And if you are poor, and if you are foreign, it is very, very hard indeed. Maybe, maybe my dream is impossible. Hey, dreamer. Time to wake up. But I have a plan. If I can dream myself a lightsaber or a war horse, why can't I dream cameras rolling into existence? Why not? And so, what I do, I act. I do my preparation, as long as it takes. 
I dream up my character. Who is she? What she wears? How she talks? And finally, how she thinks. And then, when I am ready, I open my eyes. And I am Gillian. I am from England. And I am a financial employment consultant. And so, I have cameras. A wide, a mid-shot and a close-up there. And now lights. Cameras, action. You, uh, it would just happen up on 34. What? Who is this? Total chaos. Stay calm, Nasserine. Entire division, know what I mean? Calm. Straight out of the blue. Bang. I have no idea what he's talking about. Didn't see that coming, did they? Fucking awkward. Okay, Mr. Sweaty Pants. This is my close-up. Look him straight into the eye, it is. Rather awkward. And remember your training. Julian Dubois. Sanderson retrenchment. All right, good for you. I let 34 go. Look, it's a secret. But the Canadians. Canadians? Are... The Canadians? Hang on. It's nothing to do with Dubai. Shit. Shit, that's bad. It's Darwin. You're in sales too, right? Yeah. I'm up on 18. No, 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 no. Please tell me that I'm... I'm sorry. If it's any reassurance, it won't happen soon. But... When it does... Bang! You won't see it coming. And cut. And it works. It's real. After I'm done, I shake like a little leaf. But while I was there, I wasn't just acting. I was Gillian. I became her. And the more I do it, the easier it becomes. My research, my accent, my makeup, my thoughts, my life, me. And I'm Lily. I'm a junior school teacher on a night out. Just listen, please. Let's just... No. I love you, but there's not enough room for me with all these dreams you have. I just can't. Beg, beg, please. He is who he is. And he loves you. Does he make you laugh? Hmm? Oh, calm. Does he make you laugh? Dude, you need to pick one dream, and then pursue it. Even if it takes forever, it's still better than sitting around, bitching about no one giving you a break. Trust me. I know. Now, find her, and love her, Jason. Love her. I five Nasrin. I think they bought that. But now I want to dream bigger. I really want to win an Oscar. Oh Hollywood, here I come. Excuse me. Can I have a lemonade with no ice cubes, please? Excuse me. Can I have a lemonade with no ice cubes, please? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone I gave this to you, okay? Excuse me. Thank you. So she's like, it's a procedure. We have to follow the procedure. And I'm like, great. How long is the procedure? And she's like, well, I ain't real bored. She's like, it'll take as long as it takes. So I'm like, 
oh my God, I am sick of people putting me off. And she's like, Monica? But I'm like, stop Monica me. This is my son we're talking about. You have my boy. You've had him for seven months. I'm his mom. And there's someone somewhere ticking boxes, doesn't even know me, has decided I'm not a fit parent. And he'll be better off with someone else when he's my son. Hmm? A procedure. <laughs> what does that even mean? <sighs> he's my boy, huh? A little baby boy. The more I do this, the more ambitious I can be. Black and white, no problem. That classic look, I can make it happen. A room full of actors. Well, hello there. Hey there yourself, dollface. You're the look. Ain't she the look, boys? You're the look. You're gonna be a star. Sign here, baby. You're going to the movies. But dreaming has limits. I can dream dragons, a camera, even other actors. But I can't dream my rent. Like Cinderella, I have to go back at midnight. And while this is fun, and I am practicing, I cannot dream that one vital thing that every artist craves. I can't dream up an audience. So I will keep on. I will act when I can, and I would do it well. But I can't help wanting for someone to be sitting there, right now, watching what I create, recognizing that I am so capable at dreaming these people into being that I can convince them I truly am Jillian, or Lily, or Monica. Or, or that I am fighting zombies or slaying dragons. What I need, it's someone who will believe, just for a few moments, that I am Nasrin, a cleaner with dreams above her station. You done yet, dreamer? Yes, I think I am. I need my Hoover. This is just... Why do you want to do my job for me anyway? Because... We're making a movie. A movie, eh? So where's your crew then? Where's the camera? <laughs> and if I could convince you of all these things, in that moment of your suspended disbelief, my dreams become real. Because, of course, you know I'm not Nasreen. You've always known that. I am Jaisa Figueroa. I am from Puerto Rico. And I'm an actor. And I'm a dreamer. And you are my audience, validating what I do. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to finish my show reel, I'm going to do a piece to camera, a poem by W.B. Yeats. <laughs> Had I the heavens embroidered cloths, and wrought with golden and silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark cloths of night and light and the half light. I would spread the cloths under your feet, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. 
I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. <laughs>